Yeah, it's a built-in scratcher there. And then this day was incredible. And Kyron, I believe you were narrating a lot of this day with the triplets. What a special moment this season. Yeah, we were not expecting to come across a mother with three cubs that day, that's for sure. And um, we actually, we did spot her in the willows um, from the coastal trail that day. And uh, you could see the two cubs, so we knew it was a mom and two, but then um, they, they actually got up out of the willows and started to travel. And that's when we spotted the third. So it kind of came as a shock to me and Cassandra, who has joined me on the buggy that day. Um, so we did uh, find where they did kind of settle down and we got to spend a couple hours with them. And that was our first encounter. And we sort of figured, you know, we were extremely lucky to have seen them that one time and we weren't sure if they're going to stick around, but lucky for us and uh, everybody else who's in the tundra, they did spend a few days out there and yeah. we had numerous encounters. It was really amazing to see. And, and you could see too, just how healthy they are all are. Um, that was uh, also uh, made me very happy to see that as well. Oh, definitely. Now in person, was it pretty obvious that one of the cubs was like more of a runt or smaller? Did they all look pretty good. I know sometimes what we see with our eyes can be slightly different than what it looks like on camera, but on camera, they all look pretty healthy, as you said. Yeah, that little guy there, he it was very apparent that there is a run out of the three. Um, I'd say it was even close to like half the size, but you can see it's still, oh. for being a smaller bear, it's, it still uh, looks to be healthy. And, and I've been told too, that there's a possibility it was uh, maybe two males and a female cub, which are tend mm. to be typically smaller, the case there. I think you started.